Do you ever find your eyes tearing up for what seems like no reason? The answer could be that the tear ducts in your eyes are clogged. On this episode of OcuTalk, Dr. Leanne Araste will be discussing what blocked tear ducts are, how it happens, and what patients can do to prevent it. Dr. Araste? I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for a brand new episode of OcuTalk. My name's Nick, and today we have a very special guest joining us from University Optometric Center in Irvine, California, Dr. Leanne Areste. Dr. Areste, thank you so much for joining us today. Hello, thank you so much for having me today. Well, excellent. Again, thank you for joining us today, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us and talk a little bit with us today. Uh, so before we get started, Dr. Reste, I was hoping that maybe you could introduce yourself to our audience, tell them a little bit about your background and your specialty. Sure. So um, this is Dr. Leanna Reste. I moved to the States um, when I was 17, then I got my bachelor's degree in um, medical sociology at Cal State Long Beach, and then I went on, got my optometry degree from Western University of Health Sciences, and now I'm practicing in Orange County, California, mainly in uh, medical optometry. Well, perfect. Dr. Arase, thank you again for joining us, and thank you for that introduction. Uh, so for our topic today, Dr. Arase, we were hoping that maybe you could talk a little bit with us about blocked tear ducts. What exactly are blocked tear ducts? Let me tell you about the uh, role of the tear ducts first, and then I'm going to tell you about the um, blocked tear ducts. So we basically have um, two lacrimal glands on the corner of our eyes, um, on the top corner. Um, so they uh, basically produce and secrete tear film on the surface of our eyes. And then as we blink, the tear can drain through our puncture, the small tiny openings on the corner of our eyelids. Um, so it goes into the drainage system of the eyes. It goes um, and then it drains through the back of the nose and the throat. Sometimes the duct can get blocked and it can cause severe um, infection or excessive tearing. Well, perfect. Thank you for that overview, Dr. Araste. And um, so what causes the ducts to clog? Okay, so basically age, trauma, um, anatomy of the drainage system, abnormal anatomy of the drainage system, blockage by foreign bodies, infection of the nose or sinus or even the eye, and certain eye drops can um, cause a swelling of the lids and cause um, the dogs to clog. Uh, Dr. Raste, are there any specific risk factors for developing blocked tear ducts that we should be, on, be aware of? So uh, basically the main uh, risk factor is the age. As we age, um, the puncture in the corner of our eyes um, can get narrow and the tear can um, fully drain. And uh, also people who have glaucoma, they use eye drops that can inflame their eyelids and cause, um, cause tears to not fully drain. And um, also um, in newborns, um, the tear duct has a tissue covering the tear duct. So in newborns, it should um, go away on its own at birth. And in some cases, it doesn't go away on its own. So um, the tear can drain properly. Um, people uh, who have prior um, previous um, cancer treatments like chemotherapy, um, it can affect that. Also, people who wear contact lenses, if they don't clean the contact lenses properly, it can lead to uh, infection of the eyes and that can lead to uh, blocked tear ducts. Well, excellent. Thank you for that information, Dr. Araste. And doctor, um, how do you know if your tear ducts are blocked? Like, what are the symptoms that we should be on the lookout for? So if you have excessive tearing, it can be one eye or both eyes. If you have red eyes, if you have recurrent infection, um, or um, if, you, if you feel like um, you have swollen eyelids, usually that could be a sign of blocked um, tear ducts. Also, uh, some discharge, like yellow discharge in the corner of your eyes can be a sign of um, a um, blocked tear duct. Well, excellent. Now we know what to be on the lookout for. Thank you, doctor. And uh, Dr. Arase, um, are blocked tear ducts something that will clear up like kind of on their own? I know you've kind of mentioned it before for like newborns, but w will it happen for everyone else? Um, usually you have to get like get care from your um, eye care professional. 
Um, in newborns, it can go away on its own. If it doesn't go away on its own, um, you can do a warm compresses and lid massages. But um, in general, if it's due to an infection, eye injury, trauma, it's the best idea to go to your eye doctor and get it checked by an eye doctor. Well, perfect. Definitely go and check it out at your eye doctor's office. Uh, Dr. Arase, um, are there home rem remedies available that you would kind of recommend to your patients? Definitely. So the lead hygiene is the um, crucial thing to um, avoid the infection in general. So definitely use eyelid wipes um, or even you can just um, use baby shampoo to um, wash your eyelids. You can uh, use foaming cleansers like um, that um, you guys have as well. Um, you can use those um, to prevent getting infections. And besides that, um, just get your eyes checked every year by your doctor. Well, thank you for giving our product a shout out there, Dr. Rostey. We appreciate that. Um, so when do you know it's time to seek professional help? Like if, if like, I don't know when to go, like when, when should I go see Dr. Rostey when, it, like when, when it's time? So if you have pain, if you have recurrent eye infection, if you have like excessive tearing or watery eyes, or if you have itchiness, you definitely need to be checked by a doctor to make sure everything is okay or um, to, so that they can give you proper medication and treatment. Well, definitely. Thank you again for that, Dr. Rase. And um, what are the professional treatment options for blocked tear ducts? So um, medications, if there's an infection, we usually give you uh, antibiotic medications to clear that infection. Um, also in kids or in newborns or older people, who have narrow um, ducts, we do dilation and irrigation. We basically use a probe to dilate your puncta, and then we um, flush saline solution to open up that blockage. Um, we also can use stents to create a passageway for tears to drain into the back of the nose or um, back of the throat. If those um, procedures don't help, then we can do another procedure that's called uh, dacryocysterinostomy. Uh, or DCR, in that case, the surgeon creates a new passageway for our tears to drain into the nasal cavity and back of the throat. Perfect. Thank you for letting us know about those professional procedures, Dr. Rase. And Dr. Rase, are there long-term side effects? And do you have like a protocol like for continued care for your patients? So most people don't have any further um, symptoms after the treatment. So um, basically eyelid hygiene and getting care right away when you have an eye infection or if you notice any um, discharge or watery eyes, um, it's the best way to avoid this from happening again. Well, perfect. We'll definitely recommend that for all of our patients and your, and your patients as well. Um, are, are there any preventative measures that people can be taking to avoid blocked tear ducts from happening like in the future? So it's best to um, do lid hygiene with eyelid wipes. Um, if you wear contact lenses, it's best to um, clean those contact lenses properly. Um, and then um, make sure you use, don't use, um, don't share basically your eye makeup products and then you throw away or your eye makeup products um, every three to six months and you use a new one. And, um, that's basically it. Well, excellent advice. We'll definitely be on the lookout for that, Dr. Rase. And uh, Dr. Rase, before we leave today, was there anything else that you wanted to let our audience know about? No, that would be it. Thank you for having me today. Well, excellent. Well, it was a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Rase. Everyone, that was Dr. Leanne Rase with University Optometric Center in Irvine, California. Dr. Rase, thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good day.